What's up everyone, welcome to another East West Beats tutorial and today we will be talking about how to create drums in Ableton Live. Uh, it's a fairly simple tutorial, uh, again this is for uh, people that really haven't used Ableton and want to know how to get uh, started with it. What you do in Ableton is uh, first you create a MIDI track, so let's go create a MIDI track, so create insert MIDI track. So now you have your MIDI track, you can double click on it and you can rename it to say drums. Now what you want to do right now, this track has nothing. So Ableton has this particular drum rack that you can just drag over it and now you have your drum machine. Here you can see it at the bottom, it's laid out like a typical drum machine would be. And the great thing about Ableton is you can literally just drag and drop your samples in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just find some of my own samples. Um, I'll send a link below to a free sample pack that you can download so you can start making some beats. Um, kick, so you can hear it. All right, so I'm gonna drag that here and you can hear it. What Ableton does is it brings down the volume to negative 12 here. So if, you, if your samples are really low in volume, you can always bring them up there. So now we have one kick. Um, let's bring in a clap. I like this one. All right, uh, we'll need a hi-hat. All right, so there you go. There's our closed hi-hat. Let's do an open one as well. And just for a little extra, we'll bring in this percussion sound. So now we have four things here. So right now my tempo is set to 104. You can simply just double click or drag the mouse up and down here. Let's do it at 100. And if you don't have a MIDI keyboard, you don't need to worry because what you can do is you can just double click here and it will create one bar. And you can write your, um, write your drum pattern in here. So let's uh, just write a simple drum pattern. I'm gonna put a drum in here, uh, kick, clap, and then um, I'll just play along with it and kind of start editing things so you guys can see it. Okay. Right, let's play that and then uh, as we play it we'll start adding more things again this symbol here is when you want to click and hear the sample let's say you're playing it and you're also writing at the same time you probably want to have that turned off because it won't be in sync so all right so let's do it okay I like that so let's add some hi-hats There you go, you have a simple one bar loop. Now, this probably will get repetitive, so what you wanna do is you wanna um, change it up a little bit, and the great uh, thing about it, the new Ableton is that you can actually duplicate the loop and change it up a little bit. So here you just click duplicate loop, and it'll turn it into two bars. So let's change up the pattern a little bit. Okay, that's... Alright, so that's a little different. Perfect. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, please leave a comment below or you can go to facebook.com slash east west beats and you can leave a comment there as well. Make sure to hit like, subscribe and share this content with anybody you think will find this useful. Thanks again for checking it out.